Hi, my name is Drew Russell. I'm a developer advocate here at Rubrik. Today I'm going to spend a few minutes reviewing our Terraform provider, which you can find out on GitHub. Before I review the uh, quick installation process, I also wanted to point out our quick start guide and then our provider documentation. So the quick start guide is going to contain everything I talk about here, as well as a whole bunch of other information. Uh, if you have any kind of questions, this is the first spot to check. Also for the documentation side, we, we include the same information here as well as an overview of each of the resources that we have available. Um, these will include a quick description of what's going on, an example um, uh, usage of, of how this work looks in Terraform, as well as some detail around each of the arguments that are required uh, for the resource. So getting back to the installation here, like I said, it's, it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is go over to our GitHub releases page and download the correct uh, pre-compiled binary for your system. Um, so depending on your which which OS you're running, there'll be a different download file, which we just kind of have quickly documented here for you. Once you have it downloaded, we'll need to uh, quote unquote sideload it into the Terraform plugin directory. Uh, again, depending on your operating system, that may be a different location. One thing to note on this is that you may need to actually manually create that plugin directory uh, if it's not already there as well. Once it's downloaded, be sure to go ahead and rename the file to just Terraform Provider Rubric. That just ensures that the resource is, is properly picked up. Once we run this Terraform init command in the directory that holds the main.tf file. So let's go over to um, my Terraform plugin Darwin directory. Um, as you can see, I've already downloaded and um, um, renamed the Ter Terraform provider and moved it into the plugin directory here. One thing to note on this side is once you run a Terraform plan or, or Terraform apply, which we'll go over here next, if you uh, receive any kind of permission denied error message, just make sure that the provider here has executable privileges. So going into the code, I have a quick demo setup of, of what a uh, look what a uh, Terraform configuration file looks like uh, for the rubric provider. Uh, so up at the top here, we will just define the provider. In this particular case, we are pulling in the credentials um, from a couple of different environment environment and variables that we have preset. If you go back over to the uh, quick start guide here, we have those uh, documented uh, pretty thoroughly for you, as well as some instructions on how to set it up in, in the various different operating systems. So going back here, um, we also are utilizing two AWS resources in this case. Um, so we're going to create a new AMS, AWS KMS master key for us to utilize as well as a new AWS S3 bucket to utilize as an archive target. So this is where we get into our first rubric resource. So as you can see in this case, we're calling rubric AWS S3 cloud out, which will go and connect to the rubric cluster and configure a new archive target for you. Um, in this case, there's a couple different variables that we're gonna populate, the archive name, which is up to you, a, then we're going to import the AWS bucket and master key ID, which we previously created here as well. Once you have that configuration file um, you know, defined, the first thing you need to do is run a Terraform, Terraform init, which will go out and validate that the provider has been installed correctly um, and then download any uh, you know, HashiCorp maintain providers as well. So in this case, we get the Terraform has been su successfully initialized message, which is what we want it to see. Now from here, you can do a couple different things. We'll start off with a Terraform plan that is going to go out and, and see what's basically already been configured um, and then tell us what it's going to do once we run and apply. So in this case, we are going to create that new AWS KMS key, the new AWS 3 bucket, and then utilize that information to configure uh, cloud out as, a, uh, as an archive target on the Rubik cluster. So now we can go through and run a Terraform apply. 
In this case, it's going to tell us basically the exact, exact same information we just saw um, from the plan. We want to enter yes. And what it'll do now is, is go out and execute all of those steps. So um, usually just takes a, a minute or two to get up and running here. So it's a relatively quick process. So it looks like it's already created the KMS key, the S3 bucket, and now it's connected to the Rubrik cluster configuring cloud out for us. Um, and it looks like that's successfully completed. So let's go over to our Rubrik cluster here, and we will uh, log in and, and take a look at what's been configured. So we'll go to our archive locations. And as you can see, we have a new TF AWS S3 demo, demo, which is exactly what we are looking for. Once you have it um, configured, there's a couple of things you can do. Um, you know, you can go through and make changes to uh, some of the fields here and then run a Terraform apply again. And this take, in this case, it'll detect that there's been a, a state change. So it's gonna tell us that we are going to uh, rename that archive location from Terraform AWS3 demo to uh, Terraform AWS3. So in this case, we can just hit yes again, and we'll go ahead and connect to the Rubik cluster and make that change. And if we go back, if I can find it, you can see it has been successfully um, updated for us on the back end. The other point we can mention here is a Terraform destroy. Um, obviously, this will only be used in case you want to delete that entire uh, um, environment we just configured, which in this case we do. So we will go out and connect to AWS, delete that KMS key, delete that S3 bucket, and then unconfigure cloud out on the Rubik cluster for the specific instance. So we will hit yes here, and Terraform will go ahead and start cleaning all of that up for us. So. Um, as you can see, it's already gone through and destroyed cloud out since that is the, uh, you know, linked as the, 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 the bottom step here. So if we log back, move over to uh, Rubik here, you can see it's been removed. Um, and then from there, it's gone through and it deleted the S3 bucket and deleted the KMS master key. So pretty straightforward to get up and running. Terraform makes it extremely easy to use with the um, HCL language here. So, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out on GitHub with an issue or um, you can get a hold of us on Twitter as well.